Come on, say it. We're in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, she rain to fall on me. Can we say it? We're in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, she rain. Let it fall on me. Come on, say it. Jonathan Nelson. Come on, give a round of applause. Africa appreciates you. Open the floodgates in abundance and cause your brain. The rain of peace, the rain of joy, the rain of love. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. All things. We welcome you to New Birth tonight. What's up, everybody? God bless you. From Accra to Atlanta. We're having a night of African worship tonight. It's time to celebrate Jesus. We want you to like, we want you to comment, and we want you to share this great service. Come on, David, it's time to celebrate. Come on, team, it's time to celebrate. Our brother and our friend, Dr. Sonny Badu, is here. And we're going to celebrate Jesus as a family. Come on, everybody, let's go. Everybody shout with me. i 
Last time, say it. All things are possible. All things. One more time, raise it. All things are possible. All things. Even in the building, raise your voice and say it real loud. Say it. Say it. All things. Raise it, say it. All things are possible. All things. Anybody believe it out there? Now let's raise up a praise to Jesus. Let's raise up a praise to Jesus. Come on, I know you're having a mess, but let him hear your voice. Let him hear your worship. Let's worship Jesus. Let's worship Jesus. You are Alpha and Omega. Let's worship everybody. We. Come on, open up your mouth, give him glory. Come on, open up your mouth, give him praise. Be thankful unto him, bless his holy name. For our God is good and he's worthy to be praised. I want you to lift up that hand in your home, in your living room, in your car. We gathered around the electronic altar at 7.30 this morning. We were believing God for intervention for legal issues. And I still hold fast that God is getting ready to turn somebody's case around, somebody's situation around. Somebody is getting ready to find it happen in their favor. I'm believing it not just for you, but I'm believing for family members. Whatever legal issue might uh, still be looming, that God is going to give you the victory. I believe that it's not by might, it's not by power, but it is only by his spirit. Every person, wherever it is that you are, would you salute and celebrate victory even now? Clap that hand. Come on, clap it, clap it triumphantly. Come on, I need to hear a sound of victory. I need a real sound of victory. Bless his holy name. We want to uh, welcome all of you. Please help me. We want to welcome uh, all of you to uh, worshiping with us on tonight. This is going to be an encounter like you have never seen in all of your days. Uh, the Holy Spirit dropped on me last week that there's getting ready to be a resurrection and a revolution in Africa. And I believe that the body of Christ is going to have to stand on tiptoe to watch what God is getting ready to do. Uh, the Bible said that Ethiopia shall stretch forth her arms 
Uh, Rome has had a time. Europe has had a time. America has had a time. But it is now time uh, for the sons and daughters of Africa uh, to be able to assume their rightful position, to understand that they are the head and not the tail. I need you to do me a favor. If you believe that God has something supernatural in mind for you, I want you to please tag somebody. I want you to text somebody. I want you to tell somebody that the Revival Revolution Uprising is happening right now at New Birth. Something amazing is happening, and we want you to be a part of it. I need you locked in. Uh, my brother is here, and I am so glad, so grateful, and so expectant. Would you all shout for Dr. Sonny Badu? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You may be seated. What an amazing week this is going to be. I, I want to uh, encourage you to not miss one moment of what God has in mind for all of us. Are you tagging? Are you texting? Are you telling somebody? You ain't doing it. You just looking at me. I need you to come on. Use that electronic device. I want you to tag somebody. I wish that you were here, but I'm so glad that you're there. Uh, on Friday, our church will be a vaccination center for the state of Georgia. If you, your family members are in need and desire to have it, I need you to go to our website right now, newbirth.org. I want you to register as long as you are above 18, you will have access to it. It is absolutely free of charge, and I want you to make sure that uh, you will come. Uh, the same vaccine that we have, uh, the exact same vaccine uh, that our president and vice president uh, had access to to and it is now available to you right here on our campus. Friday night will be live right here uh, on the same platform by which you are viewing me for the seven last words. It is my privilege to introduce to you six emerging giants of the gospel, six gospel carriers under 40 who are coming up to usher in the seven last words of the cross. I'll be the last one now as the old man in the group, but those six uh, young lions will be roaring what it is that Jesus said from that cross. On Saturday morning, I want you to please pour in. Goodwill trucks are coming in from across the state of Georgia. I want you to empty out your, your basements, uh, your attic, uh, your closet, your trunks. God has blessed you with excess. And so let's be a blessing to nations. I, I want to thank you. We have already uh, collected some 2,800 pairs of glasses uh, for people who are visually impaired or visually challenged. Uh, and I want you to help us to make it to 3,000 pairs of glasses. 1,500 we're going to disseminate around the Atlanta metropolitan area. The other 1,500 uh, we're sending to Kenya uh, to be a blessing to young people who are visually challenged and the seniors. Uh, as well as doctors will be on the ground to be able to test them and to match them uh, with the right pair of glasses. Resurrection Sunday, our high and holy day, is going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to be out in the parking lot. I'm telling you, we are going to be excited because we don't serve a dead God. We serve a living one. I, I want you to come. My brother uh, Charles uh, Jenkins, you know him from This Means War, uh, is going to be our guest uh, singer and psalmist and worship leader for the day. I'll be preaching. Uh, we're going to be on all of our platforms as well as we're going to be on Roller Martin Unfiltered. Uh, so I'm excited that nations uh, are going to be connected. I need you to register. It is not mandatory, but it is helpful if you'll do that. I, I want to uh, just give a word very quickly uh, before it is that uh, Dr. Badu comes. I want to give you a quick word. And um, uh, the word uh, comes from uh, Matthew chapter 27. A and you know the, the story, the narrative all too well. Uh, where the crowd, I'm somewhere around verse 46, yelled out, give us Barabbas. Give us Barabbas. That's, that's, um, that's the verse that I want to underscore. I, I want to preach uh, for a little while today literally just four minutes I, I want to preach using as the subject give us bananas uh, give us bananas I, I'll never forget the horror and the embarrassment uh, that was on my parents face 
when I was uh, a part of our church's Easter program. Um, I know we don't have those anymore, but we were in Coca Hall of Bethlehem Church in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, we were reenacting the crucifixion story. I only had one job, only had one line. I was to act and to mimic as the crowd did in that day when Jesus stood forth while they were trying to decide whether they were going to go with Jesus or Barabbas. I only had one line, only had one job. And when it got to my line, I yelled out loud, give us bananas. Whole church started laughing. I didn't know what was wrong. I didn't know uh, how I had messed up. I don't know what was going on in my parents' minds that uh, here's the most critical story of my master's life. And I can't even remember what I'm supposed to be calling. I should have been yelling out Barabbas, but I said bananas. I forgot about that story until uh, just two nights ago. And uh, it dawned on me how many of you are afflicted with the burden of comparison. That you're always judging your life against somebody else's. Looking at what it is that you drive and not being thankful, but jealous because of what somebody else drives. Looking at somebody else's career, somebody else's house, somebody else's marriage, somebody else's title, somebody else's position. And instead of being thankful for what you have, you're comparing yourself to somebody else. I am believing that between now and Resurrection Sunday, you are going to be freed from the spirit of comparison. That you're going to be glad for who you are. You're going to be thankful for how God made you. You are going to be appreciative that if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't want to be anybody else but who I am. Too many of you don't even know that you are stuck in the crosshairs of comparison. And you don't know what you're supposed to be. And you don't even celebrate who it is that you are, what you have come through, and how you were made. If I were to ask any of you tonight, would you rather be a banana or be a potato? Most of you would say without even wincing in your gauge that I, Pastor, I want to be a potato. I don't want to, I don't want to be a potato. I want to be a banana. Why in the world do you want to be a a banana and not a potato. I don't want to be a potato, Pastor. Why? Because it only comes through dirt. I don't want to be a potato because uh, it always has blemishes on it. It always has markings. It always is the exact same. I never want to be a potato. I would rather be a banana because it's considered exotic. It's always looked at as being bright. Unlike the potato, in order for you to get it, you have to reach up because it's always in a high place. The potato comes out of the ground. It's got dirt on it, got markings, got blemishes, but, but the banana is high and lifted up. The difference that I need you to understand is that um, this banana that I hold in my hand, it uh, is bright, but uh, it crushes easy. Why? Because even though it's pretty, it was never made for pressure. Even though it looks good, if it has a mark on it, it can't be sold. Even though here it is, it's in a high place, it is only seasonal. And when the season ends, it no longer comes into its manifestation. But the potato, it don't matter whether it's cold, it'll still grow. It don't matter whether it's snowing, it'll still produce. It don't matter whether it's being kicked around, it still holds its flavor. Why? Because it was made for pressure. 
and I'm talking to somebody you may not be the prettiest you may not have gone to the highest level you may not have in fact been considered exotic but God said do you hold your weight do you hold your value do you hold your existence isn't it amazing that one billion people a day one billion people a day depend on a potato to live you just missed that one billion people a day need potatoes as their existence it is third only to rice to wheat and then the potato nobody needs a banana to live you just missed what I just said. Nobody needs a banana to live. Why? Because it's just extra. But the potato is primary. You got to stop considering and comparing yourself to somebody who can't last. Beauty is fleeting. But a woman that serves the Lord will always be in rotation. Will always hold their value. I feel bad. I feel bad. I better say it to you. I feel bad for who didn't choose you. <laughs> I feel bad for those that didn't see your value. I feel bad for those that looked over you. They grabbed a banana when they should have got a potato. And I am so grateful that even though they didn't pick Jesus, he wasn't picked because he was chosen. And I need somebody that knows I may not have been your choice, but I was God's selection. He knew me while I was still in my mother's womb. And I give God glory with dirt on me. I give God glory with blemishes on me. I give God glory with marks on my life. I give him glory in spite of how I was kicked around. They chose Barabbas because they thought he was a banana. But they didn't know that they needed Jesus because he was the substance of things hoped for. This message is not for you. This message is for some young person who was not selected for their first choice of school. This message is for somebody who has always been the bridesmaid and never the bride. This message is for somebody who is overqualified and underpaid. God said, I know they didn't pick you, but they didn't even pick my son. If they didn't have enough sense to pick him, what makes you think that they're going to pick you? I don't know where you are, but somebody ought to be celebrating because God said somewhere between now and Pentecost, you are going to be selected for a position you never asked for. Somewhere between now and Pentecost, you won't even have to be interviewed. They're going to offer you the job. Somewhere between now and Pentecost, they're looking for you when you weren't even looking for a change. You don't even know. You are God's potato. He looks beyond all of my faults. He looks beyond all of my faults and he sees me at my needs. I want you to lift up that hand. I want to pray for you. I want to pray that um, you get selected by the right company. Selected by the right business. Selected by the right school. I want to say this. Selected by the right spouse. I'm praying over you that God will confirm that you are healed tonight from being picked on and picked over. And you come to the awakening that I was chosen for this. 
those of you that can hear my voice, if you can hear my voice, we're getting ready to go into worship. Dr. Badu is getting ready to take us into a, a great season of worship. I'm telling you, if you've never heard of him before today, you'll never forget him after today. I need you to do this for me. I asked you at 7.30 this morning for a seed of 33. I'm getting ready to go to our announcements before our guest comes because I don't want anything else impeding the move of God that's getting ready to take place. I need you, sir. I need you, ma'am. Sow a seed right now for 33 for what you know you were born to do, for what you know you were chosen to do, for what you know you were elected to do. I need you to sow that seed of 33. I want you to stay tuned. I want you to hear what God is doing through this ministry. And when it is that we would have concluded, my brother from another mother, God's voice in the earth realm, the one who is in fact a man after God's own heart, that when he opens his voice, the earth realm begins to tremble. Mother nature comes to a standstill. Cherubims and seraphims are unleashed. He is not an entertainer. He is a worshiper that comes from the throne room of God. I want you to see what it is that we're doing. And right after we would have concluded our announcements, I want you to see and hear and experience what God is doing through Dr. Sonny Badu. Stay tuned. What's up, New Birth? You know what time it is. Time for your video announcements. New Birth kicks off Resurrection Weekend with our seven last word celebration. Join Pastor Jamal Bryant and the entire New Birth family. Join us online and on the Word Network. Friday, April 2nd, 7 p.m. Then get ready. Get ready for our live. All the way live. Resurrection pull-up parking lot service. Sunday, April 4th, 9.30 a.m. With special musical guest, Pastor Charles Jenkins. I believe the blood. Register today by texting NB Pull Up to 71441 or online at wearenewbirth.org. And make sure to get there early, 8.30 a.m. That's right, we're celebrating our children and youth with games, prizes, surprises, and more. And the best food trucks in town. And just in, get your Resurrection t-shirts. Available now at the Call to Conquer bookstore and calltoconquer.com. Also, a second look is what we want to give those who are unable to afford prescription glasses. We've reached our goal of 2,000 pairs of glasses. Now we're an overflow. Our collection ends Saturday, April 3rd. And also on that day, our second look, the King's Closet Clothing Drive will be collecting new and gently worn clothing from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. It's a great time to start spring cleaning. Also, check this out. New Birth in partnership with Elite Medical Associates will be offering the COVID vaccine Friday, April 2nd. Just visit tinyurl.com forward slash EMA New Birth. Appointment times are limited, so register now to secure your slot. Our King's Table provides free groceries every Saturday from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. Just pull up and pop your trunk. You can also get a free COVID test from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. New Birth and the EICC presents the Launching Pad, positioning your ideas, dreams, and business to take off Saturday, April 24th from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. Come hear noted speakers like our very own Dr. Bryant, Dr. Rick Wade, Senior Vice President for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, as well as Pinky Cole, founder and CEO of the amazing slutty vegan brand and franchise. Early registration is now open, but seats are limited for this virtual event. Visit Eventbrite and search for The Launching Pad. And join the Book of the Month Club for an enlightening conversation about soul care. The March Book of the Month, Tuesday, March 30th at 6 p.m. via Zoom. Visit wearenewbirth.org for details and visit our Call to Conquer bookstore to purchase our April Book of the Month, Rework by Jason Fried. Oh, and bring your water and come and walk with the pastor Saturday morning from 8 a.m. until 9 a.m. around New Birth. And don't miss our last Lent prayer call Tuesday at 7 7.30 a.m. Breaking news, New Birth. It's Pastor Kylie Slimmons, and I am live in Times Square. And I'm excited because today we have something special to announce. 
The Bible commissions us to go ye therefore into the world and make disciples. And because of the heart and the vision of our pastor, Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant, we have shared the gospel. You wouldn't believe it. We've done mission work in the Bahamas. We've shown up in Texas. We've stopped by Jacksonville, Mississippi. And can I tell you now, we are in Times Square. Did you know that 360,000 people come through this space every day? Different nationalities, different ethnicities, different backgrounds. And now, if they never come to Atlanta, they can receive the gospel right here because New Birth has shown up in Times Square. I want you to check this out. I'm not shouting for what I got now. I'm shouting for what's going on. Because if I start telling back to you, Dr. Bryan. Hello, new bird. This is Africa Takeover. Aha! Uh -huh. Everybody, rise up on your feet. Clap your hands, everybody. Aha! Uh -huh. John. 
I make well, it means God has been good to me. Yes, mm -hmm. I make well, well for Jesus. I make fine, fine for Jesus. Mm -hmm. You do me well, Lord.
don't know where thing you see. Make it a shine, oh, 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 oh. Shine, shine, oh. Come on. Shine, shine, oh. Shine, shine, oh. Shine, shine, oh. Shine, shine, oh. Oh, that is the why. Young boy. That is the why. That is the why. Talking drama.
didn't hear that. Let me hear again. This is Africa. back the devil is a joker is that all the devil could do are we okay are we okay dog you owe me some time here <laughs> let's go Cause you bring my way. Uh, 
stuck in the red nickel, you never let them down. And I heard about that room in the lion's den, you showed up. Hey. After 98, Sarah Bowen, you gave us. I heard about Abraham, you never let them down. Me suck in a bed, Nicole. You never let them down. And I heard about Daniel in the lion's den. You showed up. After night, I'm sure of that when you gave her a song. Oh, what about David? He said, In sin did my mother conceive me, but you made him a king. Moving him from the wilderness to the palace. Yeah. You pick messes and you're making a mess. Yeah. And you always take treasures and turn them into treasure. Who am I? Say, who am I? And you're making a mess of it. You turn the potato into relevance. And you always turn treasures into treasures. Who am I saying? Who am I? Who am I? To doubt who you are. Who am I? Who am I to doubt who you are? All I gotta do is be.
My song says yes. I got 53 seconds. Says yes. Say yes. saying yes with a major impartation come on lift up that hand all over this studio sanctuary Dr. Badu told us to just say yes come on open up your mouth just begin to bless him begin to worship him begin to give him glory begin to edify him come on cry out loud what an amazing global intergalactic encounter with the Holy Ghost that tonight two continents came together just to lift up the name of the God of the universe. There is nobody like him in all the earth. I pray that you are riveted to your core just as I was, that you felt of this uncanny move of God. There's no way you could have sat under this kind of power and denied the inner workings of the Holy Spirit. I challenge you to accept this God into your life. The same God of Accra is the same God of Atlanta, is the same God of Annapolis, is the same God of Akron, Ohio. I want you to get saved tonight. I want you to give your life over to our loving God. Can you imagine that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. That 2,021 years ago, he knew you would be in that bind. And yet he allowed his son to be sacrificed. I want you to be a part of a ministry that is local in address, but is global in its perspective. It doesn't matter where it is that you are in the world. I believe that we're going to keep going until his name is known in all four corners of the earth. I challenge you even now, if you don't have a church home, you've not given your life over to God. whole lot of people coming on Easter, Resurrection Sunday. Not too many are coming on Tuesday. But I need you right now. You have been selected even when you were not chosen. God knew you even while you were in your mother's womb. I want you to submit and surrender your way and your will over to the work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to challenge those of you who are already in the body of Christ. Make sure that you have given your offering on tonight. You've planted a seed of $33. That's what I'm asking all of you to do. Please do not miss your opportunity uh, to sow into what it is that God is doing. I'm elated that I'm going to be able to be back with you on Friday. Friday night live on the Word Network and on this platform for the seven last words of our Lord and Savior. Eight o'clock in the morning on Saturday, we're going to be walking together the full spans of our campus so that we will in fact be aligned in our bodies, our minds, and our souls. At 10 o'clock, goodwill is coming. I want you to please pull all of those bags together. Come on, empty it out. Downsize it make room uh, because as soon as you do it for somebody else God will do it for you I want you to register for our resurrection service on Sunday morning please make sure that you are bringing in uh, this glorious occasion with new birth if you are in driving distance gas up your car and make your way over to Woodrow Road in Stonecrest Georgia again I want you to know that we are the vaccine center for the state of Georgia on Friday. If you, your family, your loved ones uh, want to have access to it, ask that you'll please go and register online. Your pastor loves you. I'm praying for you every day. I am excited about your future because I'm telling you, you have an unfair advantage. Favor ain't fair and never apologize. Now unto him who's absolutely able to do anything but fail. May God rest. May God rule. May God abide with each and every one of you henceforth now and forevermore. And I'm speaking over your life. Amen. Stay tuned. We've got stuff that we want to share with you.
What's up, New Birth? You know what time it is. Time for your video announcements. New Birth kicks off Resurrection Weekend with our seven last word celebration. Join Pastor Jamal Bryant and the entire New Birth family. Join us online and on the Word Network. Friday, April 2nd, 7 p.m. Then get ready. Get ready for our live. Our all the way live Resurrection pull-up parking lot service. Sunday, April 4th, 9.30 a.m. With special musical guest, Pastor Charles Jenkins. I believe the blood. Register today by texting NB Pull Up to 71441 or online at wearenewbirth.org. And make sure to get there early, 8 30 a.m. That's right, we're celebrating our children and you with games, prizes, surprises, and more. And the best food trucks in town. And just in, get your resurrection t-shirt. Available now at the Call to Conquer bookstore and calltoconquer.com. Also, a second look is what we want to give those who are unable to afford prescription glasses. We've reached our goal of 2,000 pairs of glasses. Glasses. Now we're in overflow. Our collection ends Saturday, April 3rd. And also on that day, our second look, the King's Closet Clothing Drive will be collecting new and gently worn clothing from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. It's a great time to start spring cleaning. Also, check this out. New Birth in partnership with Elite Medical Associates will be offering the COVID vaccine Friday, April 2nd. Just visit tinyurl.com forward slash EMA New Birth. Appointment times are limited, so register now to secure your slot. Our King's Table provides free...